Researchers in Oregon have made a major breakthrough in a crippling disease, giving hope to patients all around the world. After years of work, a new treatment for ALS is getting ready for human clinical trials. In tonight's special report, KZI 9 News reporter Amber Wilmarth joins us live in the studio to show us how this breakthrough could save lives. Amber? Matt, Renee, this is the first time a potential treatment has been found that prolongs life for more than a month in people with ALS. Researchers at Oregon State University stopped the progression of the fatal disease in mice and think this approach could potentially work for people living with the disease as well. A life-changing moment. When I got the phone call, I was pretty uh, shocked. Larry Rader thought he was getting arthritis when he was diagnosed with slow-moving ALS in July of 2009. Most ALS patients uh, have between two and five years to live after they're diagnosed. So I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, I guess. You can say I'm lucky. And Rader says the past seven years have been full of adjustments. I started out with a walking stick, and then I went to a walker. And then I went to a little power scooter, three-wheel scooter, and ended up in an electric wheelchair where I am now. ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressive and fatal disease caused by the death and deterioration of motor neurons in the spinal cord. ALS is just a terrible disease. Joe Beckman, a distinguished professor at Oregon State University, led the study in Corvallis that discovered a new therapy to treat ALS in mice. At first, I was terrified to believe that the result really worked. Beckman says for nearly two years, they were able to stop the progression of ALS in one type of mouse model, allowing the mice to almost reach their normal lifespan. We gave the drug and it worked really well. I was really excited to see that because you could see the mice improve in hours given the drug. And then they look quite healthy. And then they should have started dying here. And this is the shocking part. They kept living. They developed a medicine in the Linus Pauling Institute that puts copper into specific cells in the spinal cord and mitochondria that were weakened by a copper deficiency. My friends in Australia had developed a compound that can get copper into the brain safely, and safely is a really difficult thing to do. We made the compound, we tested it, it rescued the mice from dying early. Beckman cautions this approach is not as simple as taking a nutritional supplement of copper, which can be toxic at even moderate doses. The processes are in play to get this through uh, the FDA for early trials in the United States, and we hope to see more patients enrolled in it. But you, there's no proof that it is going to work and it may only work in a small percentage of ALS patients. Although there is no guarantee, it gives hope where there was none before. Yeah, that's really great. It makes me proud. And as an OSU alumni, Raider says he's amazed this was discovered at his old stomping grounds. And for now, Raider and his wife are living life to the fullest. We like to go to the coast, like to visit to Newport. And trying to stay hopeful. Beckman says there's some evidence that this approach may also have value in Parkinson's disease and other conditions, and they're conducting further research on those topics. In the studio, Amber Bulmarth, KZI 9 News.